Okay, today we're going to do a short video. Uh, it's a little uh, crazy video, but um, about 20 years ago, I was in a music store and the guys gave me this for free. I bought something else and they gave me this. Never used it. It's a uh, Dan Electro Mini Pastrami. It's been in the box ever since. You can hear the box is crisp like new, and there it is. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to compare it to the Klon Centaur. I know that's a little nuts, but uh, let's just do it and see what the difference is, and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, here we go. Uh, hang in there and let's see what happens. And after that, I'm going to compare it to a King of Tone, and that'll be the video. Let's have some fun with it. All right. Okay, I had some time to uh, try and get them too close to each other sonically. I like that there's only two knobs on the pastrami and three on the clon. That makes it easier for me to deal with. Once you get a lot of push-pull and a lot of dials, I start getting lost. But anyway, they sound kind of close, but I think it's evident which is which. Uh, we have a Fender Telecaster into a Fender Deluxe Reverb Reissue. Going to do a clean signal. <laughs> Side, the red one. We'll do a comparison. Uh, I've switched up using a, uh, a Novo Cirrus guitar uh, still into the Fender Deluxe. Here we go. guitar player in the world. 
But anyway, there's a definite difference between the Klon and the Pastrami and the uh, King of Tone and the Pastrami. I tried to match them up as close as I could, so really what I was doing with uh, the King of Tone and the Klon themselves, I was uh, trying to match them as closely as I could to the Pastrami. Not trying to get a Klon tone out of the Pastrami, I was trying to get a Pastrami tone out of a Klon. But, I mean, this pastrami, for uh, the price of what it is, is, is not a horrible overdrive. It's, it really wasn't. You know, I could tweak the King of Tone, and I can uh, tweak the Klon into some just uh, beautiful overdrives. Okay, so I guess the moral to the story is that if you only have 20 bucks to spend, this pastrami is not a bad pedal. It produces some nice sounds. It'll never be what the Klon or the King of Tone is, but I guess a Klon and a King of Tone will never be what a pastrami is. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you next time, and uh, thanks for coming.